Hello, welcome to this presentation. My name is Armores Dimba. Today I'm going to take you through on how to generate a 2D drawing from a master drawing catalog. To start off, you just go straight to drawing and reports. Under drawing and reports, go to create drawings. On creating drawings, you have a drop down arrow. Click on that. Under that, you'll have all this master drawing single part and assembly drawing cast unit for maybe if you want to generate the rcc a, a ga drawing so you will notice that where the moment you hover the cursor on top of each of these you will be able to get some information like this one like on catalog create drawing in master drawing catalog you'll read that now we will go ahead and click master drawing catalog inside this dialog box we have stored and basics we will we'll click the stored under this we have ga under ga we have variety of this so it's upon you to pick whatever you want to match your output of a 2D drawing. The same if you go to assembly drawing, you have all this. So you have the opportunity to pick what you want to be the same as your output of the 2D. Same to single part. In case you want just to, to put a 2D, to give out a 2D of just one part in this model. You pick one that marries or that uh, you expect its settings to marry your output of your 2D. Same to that, same to this. But today we want to generate a general arrangement drawing uh, from uh, a master drawing catalog. So under G GA we have six of these. On Out of six of these we want uh, a steel G G GA foundation. We will pick this and we go straight and click create drawing for us. The moment you click this and click generate drawing, this general arrangement drawing dialog box will come up asking you from what point do you want to generate your drawing from? Do you want to join it from grid A? Do you want to join it from grid 1, grid 2, all the way down here. So it's upon you to, to pick among these. But for us, we want to generate it from 0, plan 0. Go ahead and click create. Don't mind about that. Cancel it out. Once you've clicked that, come to drawing list under drawing reports. Click that. You will find your drawing is already there. Click the first one. Give it time. Minimize this. You'll be presented with this plan. Out of this plan, we want to generate an elevation of this. We'll go to view go to section view bring it closer click at that point bring it there just enlarge your triangle just enlarge this window to cover everything that you want to be displayed on elevation click that end and bring it this end and you see this arrow on the cursor we have two cones one up one the other side now this uh, these are cameras is asking us from here pick the insertion point we want to face it frontward uh, sideway now we, we will click on this side like that we've actually generated this now to bring this out click on this triangle click on this line and hold and drag 
Let's click on that line, hold and drag it out. Now from here, click on that line. Inside this, inside this rectangular, you have uh, these marks. Go ahead and click at the corner of that and hold your uh, left button mouse drag it up drag it up still just continue dragging till you get to the the very end of the overall height of this structure there you are click outside that box now from here you have your everything on display as an elevation of section AA section AA from the plan this has been generated from this plan now out out from this now from this now you can do your dimension and remove whatever you don't want like for now we don't want this we'll click on it we'll click we will uncheck this apply okay if you don't like the color of this grid just double click on it come to color come to color change the color from there If you maybe uh, the text we, we removed now there's no need of changing the text we just click modify apply and accept now from here you can go ahead and make your and put your dimensions like that we need there from there come back where you came from there you are go back again or instead of picking one by one delete this you can delete that come to free dimension click that click at that point click at that point click at this point and click at that point come back to where we started click there right click to disable that command Just drag it down. Just drag it down. Let's bring it down. There you are. You can do the same. You can do the same here. There. Retrieve that spot. Click it here click there click there and click there click on that spot click on that spot all the way to the very top click it there click here click here let's move up click there click there 
click it there all the way to the top all the way to that spot to that spot to this spot click it there then come down to where we picked our very last spot click it there right click and that command it is here you can drag it this side by clicking and pressing your left button on the mouse then drag now from here you can change this by double click uh, by double clicking on the dimensions you come to appearance you can change the colors you can change the colors you can change the text size maybe we can give it 3.5 this one you can give roman d this one can give roman d just type roman it depends upon you the font type you'd like to put on your 2d drawing now for me after um, uh, i normally use roman 2d roman d and I click that i'll change that i'll change that and change the arrowhead i'll put i'll give it one but that one height i'll give it 2.5 i'm good to go I'll click apply and accept that there you are your dimensions are there double click on this do the same change that change this to 3.5 my preference is roman d click that change that that one i leave the way it is apply and accept that that's it as simple as this now maybe you want to change the presentation of these bolts you can double click on the bolt and come under this dialog ball dialog bo box of bolts properties you have the selection of bolt representation you can pick either solid din symbol but the best is symbol to click that and that a reason why i'm saying best symbol too because it has centers that will enable you to put in your dimensions conveniently let's click that and click this and click, click this and go back where it was there you are interrupt you have your dimensions yes that's the way it's done you can also change this to symbol 2 modify change that just click change all that you can also add uh, part name out of this Just click and right click on that and add part mark. It is actually here. Double click on it. This dialog box will come up. From this dialog box of part marks, you have content and where it, it will be previewed now i don't need this i'll take it back i'll remove it 
I want the profile name of this part mark. I'll bring it here, click on it. I'll change the color, colors of this. I'll change this to Roman, Roman D. I'll apply that. I'll modify that. This definitely will give me the the exact name of this of this member. Now I don't like this presentation. I need an arrow here and probably a line. Just double click on it again. Go back. Go to general. Go to presentation. Pick that. Pick that. And pick an arrow here. There you are. Smart as that. You can go ahead with your dimensions. By, by changing this, just change that to that, modify that. The bolting is parametric. If you change one, the rest changes. Same here. You can also press control and select everything. If you want to save time, you select that, the bolts. And double click on the last one. And change that to symbol 2. And accept. You see? This has changed, this has changed one go. Try to dimension this from this end. That, up to here. Come back to the last, to the first spot. Just zoom closer and click it there. Right click, disable that command. This is your dimension, but you are allowed to adjust the font size. We will wind up here and I hope you've learned something. We will continue with the rest in the next episode and thanks a lot for watching and make sure that once you've watched the video please subscribe for more more video to come thanks a lot